The Tejas MK2 project is a bold leap in India's journey toward complete self-reliance in advanced fighter jet technology. Behind its sleek airframe lies decades of engineering refinement, wind tunnel tests, material experimentation, and avionics development. Every component, from the radar dome to the flight control software, has been redesigned to meet modern combat standards. This aircraft isn't just about replacing old jets, it's about reshaping India's air combat strategy with indigenous innovation at its core. HAL and ADA have worked tirelessly to integrate cutting-edge sensors, materials, and weapon systems to ensure that the Tejas Mk-2 can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with global 4.5-generation fighters like the Eurofighter Typhoon or F-16 Block 70. The design philosophy combines agility, firepower, and situational awareness, all while keeping maintenance and life cycle costs lower than imported jets. One of the key highlights of the Tejas Mk-2 is its digital fly-by-wire flight control system, which has been upgraded to a quadruplex configuration for redundancy and safety. This means the pilot's commands are interpreted by computers, ensuring smoother maneuvers even under extreme g-forces. It also makes the aircraft inherently more stable and responsive during dogfights. Combined with canard foraplanes and a relaxed static stability design, the Tejas Mk-2 is capable of quick pitch changes and tight turns, crucial for survival in close air combat. The use of composite materials in nearly 50% of the structure also helps keep the jet light, corrosion-free, and radar absorbent, further improving its stealth characteristics. The durability and maintenance ease of these composites make the Mk-2 suitable for long-term service in different climatic conditions, from deserts to high-altitude bases. Another major upgrade comes in the form of onboard computing and sensor fusion technology. Multiple sensors, such as the AESA radar, IRST, and electronic warfare suite, constantly feed data to the pilot through a centralized mission computer. This means the aircraft can detect, track, and prioritize multiple targets simultaneously without overwhelming the pilot. In simple words, the plane, thinks, for the pilot, merging radar, infrared, and threat data into one comprehensive tactical picture. This is the same principle seen in some of the world's most advanced jets, such as the Rafale or the F-35, though the Tejas Mk-2 aims to achieve this at a fraction of the cost. The aircraft will also be equipped with data link capabilities to share information with friendly aircraft and ground stations in real time, enabling network-centric warfare. In terms of survivability, the Tejas Mk-2 incorporates several safety and protection systems. It includes radar warning receivers, missile approach warning systems, and chaff and flare dispensers to confuse enemy missiles. The electronic countermeasure suite can jam or deceive enemy radar systems, allowing the aircraft to slip through defended airspace. Its robust landing gear and strengthened fuselage ensure it can operate from both high-altitude bases and forward airstrips near conflict zones. Engineers have also paid special attention to pilot safety, integrating advanced ejection seat technology and an improved canopy for better visibility. Every aspect of survivability, from structure to electronics, has been carefully balanced to keep the aircraft lightweight yet combat hardened. In the weapons department, flexibility is the Tejas Mk-2's greatest strength. It will be compatible with a wide array of weapons, from short-range dogfight missiles to long-range beyond visual-range air-to-air missiles. For air-to-ground missions, it can carry precision-guided bombs, laser-guided munitions, and anti-radiation missiles to suppress enemy air defenses. The integration of the BrahMos Ing missile will give it a powerful maritime strike capability, allowing it to target enemy ships with pinpoint accuracy. The ability to carry multiple types of weapons on its 11 hardpoints means that it can quickly switch from an air superiority mission to a ground strike or anti-ship mission with minimal modification. This makes the Tejas Mk-2 a true multirole combat aircraft capable of handling a wide range of scenarios. Fuel management and combat endurance have also been a key focus in the Mk-2's design. By increasing the internal fuel capacity and optimizing aerodynamic efficiency, engineers have managed to extend its combat radius significantly. The addition of conformal fuel tanks is under consideration, which would further increase range without sacrificing performance or stealth. The aircraft is designed to be refueled mid-air through a probe and drogue system, enabling long-range operations without the need for frequent landings. 
These features give the Tejas MK-2 strategic reach, allowing it to project power deeper into enemy territory or remain airborne longer during critical missions. This is essential for modern warfare, where endurance and range can determine the outcome of an operation. Another point worth noting is maintenance and turnaround time. HAL has designed the MK-2 to be highly maintainable, with modular components that can be easily replaced in the field. Advanced diagnostics allow ground crews to identify and fix faults faster, reducing downtime. The engine, avionics, and flight control systems are all built with accessibility in mind, which means the aircraft can be prepared for the next sortie in a shorter period. For the Indian Air Force, this translates into more flying hours and higher operational readiness. The idea is to reduce dependence on foreign spare parts, create a sustainable supply chain, and ensure long-term availability of components within the country. Economically, the Tejas MK-2 is expected to provide a massive boost to India's aerospace sector. The project involves hundreds of domestic suppliers, private manufacturers, and technology startups contributing components and software. This not only creates jobs but also builds an ecosystem of expertise that will support future projects like the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA. The long-term cost advantage of having a locally produced fighter is immense, lower import bills, faster maintenance, and easier customization for national needs. As production scales up, there's also potential for exports to friendly nations looking for affordable yet advanced combat aircraft. As we look ahead, the HAL Tejas MK-2 stands as a symbol of India's determination to master complex aerospace technologies. It blends indigenous design with global collaboration, combining Indian innovation with proven international components like the GE engine. The aircraft's development journey is more than just about building a fighter jet, it's about achieving technological independence and global recognition. Once it completes flight testing and enters full-scale production, the MK-2 could very well become the backbone of the Indian Air Force for decades to come. For aviation enthusiasts and citizens alike, this is a story of perseverance, precision, and pride, a reminder that the sky is no longer the limit but the new frontier of Indian engineering.